Indians violate communal harmony in Sydney over a social media post. In Sydney, Australia, a major fight broke out in Sydney that began because of posts on TikTok. The fight allegedly took place between uh, Harvani, Har no, Harvan V and Punjabi student communities, reflecting a conflict that has historically been part of the Indian psyche. The reason for the fight goes back to the Hall Khalistani movement that began at the time of independence, which demanded a separate sovereign state for Sikh majorities of Punjab. A 33-year-old male posted a pro-Khalistani content on TikTok, which over time eventually led to a fight involving nearly 40 people. In response to the incident, uh, Gurmeet Tuli, the president of the Little India Precinct, has called for a need for the Indian High Commission to take steps to educate Indian students coming to Australia to respect the multicultural integrity of the country. Mm, hashtag diversity? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But wait, guys, so what do you think about this, Susanna? I wanted to highlight this news because we very rarely talk about Sikh issues. Um, we, it, yeah, there's not a lot of opportunities for us to talk about Sikhism. And, um, this uh, incident presented itself. And I'm sad that Shuplum isn't here because Shuplum is the one who um, suggested this news and he might have more background information. But yeah. We don't, we don't, we need to go against Sikhism as well. Sikhism, like a lot of people think, like, oh, Sikh people are great and they are great, but they're every, all, all, you know, the thing is that the, how good people are, that doesn't make their religion less crappy, okay? But they do, they are also sensitive people about their religion. Um, and again, we do, we do need to blaspheme against every religion and judge based on the reaction that we get, whether they need some desensitization. So we, we have to do some tests on Sikhism and see what we some get. Some turban okay? unwinding. <laughs> wait, wait, did you just did you just come up with that right now, Rifka? Like, did you just like re re really? Wow, that's that's impressive. Okay, that's, that's good. Okay, that was good. Um, but yeah, guys, we, actually, we don't usually talk about Sikhs. The only thing we usually ever hear is, "Yay, Sikh people made food." And yeah. so, and this is something that you brought up many times when we have that discussion armin that yeah that's great really nice to be helping people but you still have weird crazy irrational beliefs beliefs yes and we're you not know, gonna stop maybe, pointing them out right yeah 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 yeah, yeah I, I, this is what i say i'm saying if you're if you have nonsensical beliefs even if every single member of your community is a good person you st i'm still gonna call out your belief system as bs and if your belief system is r logically sound, even if every single member of your ideology is a dick, it's still sound. For example, if people, if every single atheist in the world, if every single atheist in the world was a giant a-hole, there's still no evidence for the existence of God. Wouldn't wouldn't make any difference, right? Um, binary skeptics saying Sikhs uh, are very sensitive towards their religion. Ooh, okay. A uh, Punjab government is demanding for more blasphemy laws in India. I can tell that as an ex Sikh. Wow, we have an ex Sikh honorary ex Sikh in the live chat. I, I don't know if Susanna knows that she's muted because she's smart. Uh, yeah, but um, but yeah, that's great. So um, I hope you stick around because we need your commentary on the news every time we talk about these things. Yeah, but binary great. skeptic. Need, I, I never. I, wait. Yeah, go on. Uh, binary skeptic, I follow you on Twitter. Please send me more seek news. Send me more seek news. Tell me what we need to cover. Yes, yes, and maybe even yeah, if you're interested, maybe you could have a, a discussion with you. But here, I've never, I've never met a, an ex seek before. I've never like you know, I've never heard of like I mean ex seeks before. So this is my first time. Okay, Ethan's saying I feel like social media is making the world a more hostile place no guys every time you think the world is becoming a hostile place i have to play, uh, recommend this book if you guys want to actually because the news is always the news um 
it makes sense for the news to cover the negative because people are more obsessed with the negative news because that will get more eyeballs and the news media is more interested in getting whatever gets most eyeballs because again ad revenues right and all of that but if you want to see what the actual trends are and how the world is getting a better place uh with statistic and all the data to back it up i suggest reading this book steven picker enlightenment now okay so this will if you're feeling like if you're feeling like uh, losing hope for the world and where the direction we're going you can see that the world is actually getting a better and better and better by almost every metric in a very very significant way okay so yeah that's my that turban on by people are like people are laughing over turban unwinding um hindu historians saying people saying sikhs and hindus don't get along are speaking from limited personal experience my mom has four sisters of whom three marry sikhs okay but hindu historian you're also you just did what you just accused other people to that are doing right so you just said people are speaking from uh, limited personal experience and to counter your to make to counter their argument you just give them a personal limited personal experience um again these personal limited experiences are not good and a good way to measure what the actual trends are okay um okay all right do we have do oh, we got a super sticker yes how did i almost miss that maybe i should have the live on my phone ready open as well so i don't miss these but thank you so much for the um Super sticker, where did it go? Truth Seeker, $2 super sticker. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore. But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 